Nothing deep, not the standing game. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Fielding just outside the goal line. And he's out the lines as he'll start on past the third and No, I won't let me pick. Line of scrimmage with 31 now on first and 10. Pack 50, pack 50. 50 Bobcat, 50 Bobcat. First play, and Hurts looking to throw it. That's one by the big tight end, Dallas Cowboys. And they're going to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. So one play, and they're already just shot. Smith. And it's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Lacuna. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. Well, they certainly weren't afraid to let him fly early, and they hope that will keep the defense honest and keep the offensive guys excited about getting back out there. They are in attack mode in this game. It did backfire a little bit. Now you're just hoping your defense can keep them off the scoreboard so you're not facing a deficit the next time you run out there. Golf in this Lions offense set for first and two at their own 19-yard line. After the interception, here's Golf. shaking his head right after he threw that pass. Uh, what did you see? You know, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last Oh, we picked that. Knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, they certainly knew their challenge as this series began, and they got a stop on play number one. Going now. Get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. On second and 10, Hurts. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. Dallas Goddard, 29 yards. And the Eagles use the early turnover to get one more first to go this way. Goff now, throw, throw over the middle, 
and it's incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers that live all over the place to try to find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. Inside the five, all the way to the three. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up for the first and goal. Swift. Fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. From the two now, second and goal. To throw is good. And the timing a bit off that time as Allen falls to the ground. He released that awkwardly. It almost looks like that pitcher who ripped his fastball a little too hard and then got late and bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. Yo, come the fuck on. They go ahead and snap it. Come on. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack. And it's a couple of downs. They wanted to throw for it. A surprise does not work on fourth and goal from the one. And as Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. The Eagles offense set to begin the next drive. On first and ten, it's hurts. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to move that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. Going deep here for Watkins. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker. Now the man's pretty simple, and it's fairly obvious. It's that he's got to start making better decisions with the ball. That's now two interceptions in the first quarter. After interception number one, there was a long talk on the sideline. And now he's made another mistake. Yeah, he's just been kind of laying these passes out there. He's kind of been floating them a little bit. He's got to be more decisive in his reads. Oh, my God, man. You come the fuck on. <laughs> oh, come on! Shit! This game will never quite three and out. That's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to look deep for Watkins. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't get in. That tremendous field position that they were giving following the turnover. But they've still got work to do to get the field goal ready. And the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. To throw again on second down. Hurts. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlines. But incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. So back to back incomplete. 
formations, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll set up to throw. They'll get this one complete. That's it. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, really? I don't think I have to worry about that. Just a little bit of time to survey the scene. That's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to his own blitz scheme. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure on the passer. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Still nine remaining on second down. Oh, I thought that was going the other fucking way, man. You kidding me? Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Touchdown pass in and out of his hands on four. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call, is it not? In this situation, everything was right, except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and it. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting up fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Now this throw caught left side, and way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. Line of scrimmage with 37 on first and 10. Now it's gone. Blitz coming and down he goes. Gotta imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now gone. slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they have been seeking. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. This is quickly to Williams. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Six, golf. Over the middle, it's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 15-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the red zone now. And in for the Lions touchdown. 
Jared Goff connecting with DJ Chark. And the Lions are an extra point away from drawing level. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return for just beyond the goal line. He's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20-yard line. to go. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this goal? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now your field goal kicker, you got to make sure you nurse it through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is if they get to that spot. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Hurts finding Goddard there. First down, Philadelphia. Shit. Ball quick. The run got four. Now they deal with a second six. Play action. Here's Hertz. Being chased down the line. Oh, pick that. As he throws there in the play. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. On third down, they turn the sand. Oh, you keep forgetting. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. He's got his target, that's Zach Pascal. But he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. A good pick up there, the 22. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They'll run with Sanders down to the 22 yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Throwing his hurts. And he's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Devontae Smith from the receiving end for Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front and now see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of the second quarter. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And we'll see a return here for the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get it down at about the 17-yard line. Offense ready to kick off their next drive. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. Ah, uh, come on! Hold that block just a second longer. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on the A Sports. Inside the booth alongside 
that's what you did. All right. Okay, I know what to do for that. It'll be Lions looking. football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. This offense shows out a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of numbers, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard. Yeah. In the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of the focus was in the passing game. But to their credit, it resulted in a healthy amount of yardage, so I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up. Make an adjustment. There you go. Make an adjustment. He's going to be taken down at the 28 yard line. From the 28, it's second and five. Off a handoff here to Swift. And he takes this one in for the Lions touchdown. DeAndre Swift, 28 yards. And the Lions are an extra point away from evening this one up. Pancake. Pretty good job keeping him in check to that point, but he finally breaks off a nice run here and gets into the end zone. And it just takes one, doesn't it, partner? That can undo a lot of good work that the defense has done to that point. You break off one right there, and everything suddenly looks bad for you. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And we are tied at 14. Just push him there. That's right. Mm -hmm. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. And here comes the kick. Let's play this right now. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone Let's see something. Maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Field position when that 
drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. That's your man. Why not pick that, man? Come on. Why not pick it? You go straight. You go straight. That's your man. Touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time for this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. That heavy crowd. The end result, 21 yards. First down hurts. Nice pass, man. God damn it, man.
has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 14. Small. 